afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live of Live at Four. Brady Mallory is in for Susan, who continues her family leave. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Have a good weekend. I did. There's a line in Barbie in which Ken says, "My job is beach." That was my weekend. I went to the beach, a pool party, living my best life. How was yours? Yeah, not not so beachy. <laughs> it was good. It was good. good. Let's get started. We had a lot of news today. A Baptist pastor in Madison has continued preaching even as the state revoked his child care license. Naomi Coles and our Investigates team tells you more. Republican support for former President Trump is still going strong through his mounting legal troubles. I'm Scott Henry in Washington with the state of the GOP primary race. And we remember Paul Rubens, the actor famous for playing Pee Wee Herman. He died yesterday at the age of 70. That's sad news. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look outside. Beautiful day today. See, they're at the beach. <laughs> That's not a beach. Well, to them they are. Okay. D ducks, you know. Spotty rain chances ahead. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti is in the backyard. Not today. No, no, uh, actually a pretty nice day today. I think tomorrow will be dry. And over the next few days, when the rain chances come up, there'll still be plenty of dry hours as well. Let's start out by taking a look at visible cloud track. You can see plenty of sunshine across Wisconsin. Any thicker clouds that produ could produce rain are well to our south and to our west or to our north and to our east. You can see on Doppler track, winds pretty quiet across our part of the country. And I expect it to stay that way at least through tomorrow. Low temperatures this morning, pretty comfortable. Upper 50s this time of year, hey, you can knock off the air conditioner at least for a few hours overnight. Uh, a few places still in the 40s to the north and to the west of Wisconsin Dells. That's been the case the last few nights. Current temperatures are in the lower 80s. Madison right now at 81 degrees. Janesville at 82 here in Dane County. It's 81 degrees in Middleton, 80 in Cross Plains and 81 in Sun Prairie. Look for skies to be mostly clear this evening. Temperatures will drop off into the upper 60s. Like I said, not expecting any rain tomorrow, but we will see some rain chances later on in the week. I'll take a look at the timing on those and how much rain we can expect in just a few minutes. All right, we'll check back, Gary. Thank you. A Baptist pastor in Madison has continued preaching. Even as the state revoked his child care license because of police findings from a child sexual assault investigation. Investigative reporter Naomi Coles has been tracking developments on this story for a few months now and joins us with the latest. Naomi. Yeah, Mark, I heard from parents in April that police were investigating Bob Stein, who ran Kids Best Child Care out of Midvale Baptist Church. But police would not confirm anything at the time, and the state couldn't release records given the ongoing investigation. But as of a few weeks ago, police wrapped up their investigation and recommended that the Dane County District Attorney bring a charge of first-degree child sexual assault, among other things. Now, the DA is still reviewing the case, but the state permanently revoked his license, citing child safety violations and their own investigation. I asked Stein at his home. Why keep preaching around children when facing that serious of an investigation? Well, I want to have a conversation with you. I'm There's no conversation to be had. Good morning. Welcome. Glad to see everybody this morning. Now that's Stein preaching after the investigation started and the state closed his child care. He hired a prominent defense attorney in Madison to represent him. Chris Van Wagner tells me they've been cooperating with police. Now we are airing our full investigation at 6 o'clock, including why it's so hard for the Southern Baptist denomination that this church belongs to to hold its pastors accountable. We'll see you at 6, Naomi. Looking forward to it. Nearly 1,000 We Energy customers across Jefferson County woke up in the dark this morning as power outages from Friday's severe weather stretched to a third day. Over 2,500 We Energy customers were without power statewide as of 8 a.m. today, including 965 in Jefferson County, 91 in Dane County, 34 in Dodge County, and 17 in Rock County. Over 1,300 Waukesha County customers were also in the dark. By 3 o'clock this afternoon, only 500 customers were out of service. Well, the summer has brought, brought drought, wildfire smoke, and now extreme heat to southern Wisconsin. And there's perhaps no place more dependent on the weather than Wisconsin Dells, which welcomed more than 5 million travelers in 2022. Kyle Pazorski joins us to share how this summer's tourism season has shaped up. Kyle? Well, today I checked in with America's largest water park, Noah's Ark, to ask about how the weather that we've seen this summer has impacted their business. General Manager Chris Mortensen says Wisconsin Dells and Noah's Ark have been fortunate with great weather throughout the summer, with very few days of rain or storms. Gwen had to tell me that the water park is one of the busiest throughout the entire country. I think a lot of it is the weather that, that's really helping us this summer as a business. We have adopted some new uh, kind of guest-friendly policies related to weather, uh, rainstorms, which ironically we haven't had this summer. Uh, as well, we're just really trying to enhance the guest experience everywhere along with uh, different events on pretty much every weekend. 
He also told me that compared to the past two years, attendance is up, but it's not back to pre-pandemic levels. He says the industry is trying to create more of those guest-friendly policies like rescheduling trips, room by bad weather, to bring families back to the parks. I also spoke with the Wisconsin Dells Visitors and Convention Bureau today. They tell me that for those who prefer not to take in the sun rays at the parks this summer, road tripping for a day is a trend they've been seeing much more. Mark and Brady. Kyle, thank you. Former President Trump is facing mounting legal woes, but he is still leading the pack in the race to win the Republican presidential nomination. Skyler Henry has the details from Washington. Former President Trump's legal trouble appears to be having no impact on his supporters. I think it's all a bunch of political BS. A New York Times Siena poll of likely Republican voters shows Trump's lead over his GOP rivals has grown, even after being indicted. Trump's at 54%, followed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis at 17%. Everyone else is in single digits. Trump's challengers are calling the legal cases a distraction. You're not going to be able to bring the administrative state to heel, to slay the deep state, to do all this if you have distractions, uh, if you're not focused. Trump's legal problems continue to mount as a grand jury considers another case by special counsel Jack Smith. This one related to the former president's actions following the 2020 election on January 6th. Trump posted on social media Monday, I assume that an indictment from deranged Jack Smith and his highly partisan gang of thugs pertaining to my peacefully and patriotically speech will be coming out any day now. He railed against the investigations during a rally this weekend. You know, they're not indicting me, they're indicting you. I just happen to be standing in their way. That's all it is. Some of Trump's supporters are helping him fight the charges. CBS News has confirmed that a pro-Trump political action committee has spent more than $40 million on legal expenses. Thank you. For Trump and his aides on multiple legal cases this year. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. And the property manager at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate appeared in court today after being charged as part of the government's investigation into Trump's handling of classified material. Prosecutors allege Carlos de Oliveira spoke with Trump after he received a subpoena for security camera video and then told an IT worker at the property the boss wanted the server deleted. Vice President Kamala Harris plans to visit southeast Wisconsin on Thursday, making a stop in Pleasant Prairie to tout broadband and affordable connectivity before going to Milwaukee for a pair of campaign receptions. The White House announced the plan stops on Sunday. There were no immediate details about the campaign events. Harris will be joined by Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo for the stop in Pleasant Prairie, which is 35 miles south of Milwaukee near the Illinois border. Well, the actor and comedian better known to most as his character, Pee Wee Herman, has died at the age of 70. Paul Rubens has died after a six-year battle with cancer that he did not make public, according to a statement from his publicist. Danya Beckus looks back at his career. With his adolescent humor, too tight suit, and bow tie, Pee Wee Herman was an 80s phenomenon. I meant to do that. The brainchild of actor and comedian Paul Rubens, the oddball character rocketed to fame with the television series Pee-wee's Playhouse and the hit movie Pee-wee's Big Adventure. I know you are, but what am I? In 1991, Rubens' career suffered a major setback when he was arrested for indecent exposure in a Florida theater. He retreated from the spotlight for years, but eventually made a comeback in Hollywood, culminating with Pee-wee's Big Holiday, a 2016 movie for Netflix. You ever had two women fight over you? Uh, have I? No. In a statement released with the announcement of his death, Rubens apologized for not going public with his long battle with cancer and told his fans how much he loved them and enjoyed making art for them. Donya Backus, CBS News, Hollywood. The Idaho woman convicted of killing her two children and helping stage the death of her fifth husband's former wife will spend the rest of her life behind bars. Lori Vallow Daybell refused to admit she played any role in the deaths of 7-year-old J.J. Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan or her fifth husband Chad Daybell's former wife Tammy Daybell. Vallow Daybell appeared to show no emotion and did not look at those delivering victim impact statements in court. You killed those children according to the state's theory, and I believe it, to remove them as obstacles and to profit financially. You justified all of this 
by going down a bizarre religious rabbit hole, and clearly you are still down there. Fellow Daybell's husband, Chad Daybell, is awaiting trial on first-degree murder and conspiracy charges. Unlike his wife, he faces the death penalty. His trial is expected to start next year. Well, Atwood Avenue is fully closed between Fair Oaks Avenue and Oak Ridge Avenue starting today. Access to Atwood Avenue from Fair Oaks or Sugar Avenue will not be allowed. Driveways may occasionally be inaccessible at times due to the construction. Those looking to get to the Oldbrook Botanical Gardens or Oldbrook Park Boat Launch will have to use Water St Walter Street. Metro Transit will also be detoured around the area. Well, prose to the host. Pretend I have a stein. Well, Bree Stevens Field announced an Oktoberfest celebration for this fall. If you're a fan of competitions, food, ales, and music, clear your calendars for September 24th. The event will take place over five hours. So if you're trying all 50 plus beers, bring some friends. I wanted to really create an event that was silly, um, where adults get to play, get to have fun, get to not necessarily be adults um, for a few hours. And so for us, it really was grabbing onto that heritage of the Germans, but realistically, just do whatever we can to just kind of be a ridiculous amount of fun, almost overwhelmingly so. <laughs> General admission tickets will be $20 for those 12 and up, and while kids get in free with an adult. Exclusive tickets are $95, and they get you into the event an hour early with additional perks. If you're planning on getting your later hosen on, tickets go on sale this Friday, which is International Beer Day. Right. What do you think? I already have them on. Oh, well, good. <laughs> Here we go. Ready for anything. I'm half to <laughs> Well, is Barbie still queen of the box office? Film critic Will Loper has the numbers when Live at Four continues. At U.S. Insulation, we fix hot homes. Over 7 out of 10 homes are poorly insulated. Is yours? Here are some of the signs. Is your house too cold in the winter? Is it too hot in the summer? Does your furnace and AC run almost nonstop? Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Are your energy bills too high? You don't need a new home. You need better insulation. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups, or current Chevy owners get 6750 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. First Choice Dental's got going to the dentist solved. And when you've got 11 convenient neighborhood clinics, you can solve a lot of problems, like helping you get in and get back to your busy day with snap appointments. Schedule your appointment at firstchoicedental.com. And Tresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Ivisia Dry Eye Drops. Made with hydrating polymers, moisturizing hyaluronic acid, and revitalizing trehalose for instant dryness relief that lasts up to eight hours. Ivisia, we see a better way. We're the Packers Scratch Game crew, bringing back Packers Scratch Games for you. The pack is back, and Scratch Games are here with four season tickets you could win for a year. There's instant cash prizes and other bonus drawing surprises. Packers Scratch Games are back with instant cash prizes up to $30. Drawing for four season tickets for one year. Prices range from $1 to $10. Available now at all Wisconsin Lottery retailers. We're not kidding. Somebody will be waiting for season tickets for a year. You're watching.
watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Regularly drinking alcohol, even small amounts, could raise your blood pressure, even in adults without hypertension. A new study says as little as one alcoholic drink increased blood pressure in men and women, including those with no existing blood pressure issues or conditions related to alcohol. Researchers looked at data from seven studies conducted around the world between 1997 and 2021 involving more than 19,000 adults. The study found that even less than one drink a day produced a small rise in syst systolic pressure over an average of five years. Churchill Downs, the site of the Kentucky Derby, says racing will resume in September. Today's announcement comes in the wake of a series of horse deaths. Twelve horses have died since March 30th, many of them euthanized after suffering injuries while racing. In June, the company temporarily suspended all racing operations to review its protocols. In a news release today, the company says it's implemented enhancements to ensure the safety and well-being of horses. Those changes include upgrading infrastructure, increasing veterinary oversight, establishing a new safety committee, and collaborating with industry experts. One of the nation's largest trucking companies is calling it quits, putting 30,000 workers out of a job. Yellow Corp has been in the freight carrying business for 99 years, but the company halted operations yesterday after an intense battle with the Teamsters Union. The shutdown comes after a federal judge denied Yellow's attempt to block a unionized strike earlier this month. The company had warned that a strike could cause it to plunge into bankruptcy. The union indicated it plans to strike after the company missed a pension and health care payment deadline for some of its 22,000 unionized workers. The city of San Francisco has cited Twitter for flashing the X sign on top of the company's headquarters. Owner Elon Musk rebranded Twitter and its iconic bird logo as X last week. Musk tweeted a video of the building with the new flashing X logo on Saturday. City officials say they've been to the headquarters twice since Friday regarding the sign. They were not permitted access to the roof. Authorities issued a notice of violation for work without a permit for the sign. According to the complaint, company representatives told officials the X was installed temporarily for an event at the building. The neighbors aren't happy about it either. Mm -hmm. Stocks closed higher on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials added 100 points, ending the month at 35,559. The Nasdaq was up 29, and the S&P 500 gained six. It's the fifth month of gains for those two indices. Well, there's no stopping Barbie at the box office. Have you seen it yet? Uh, not yet. Okay, I'll go with you. <laughs> well, here's film critic Will Loper with the numbers and suggestions as to what to watch in the Loper Report. Mark and Brady. Barbenheimer continues to reign at the box office. Both Barbie and Oppenheimer had historically low drops in their second weekends, with Barbie having the seventh biggest second weekend of all time. Of course, that wasn't good news for Disney with their newest film in theaters this past weekend, Haunted Mansion. Wait! I should warn you, before you step inside the house, this could change the course of your entire life. I'm not afraid of a couple ghosts. Rosario Dawson stars as a mother who moves into a, well, mansion that's haunted. This mansion is unhinged. <laughs> These ghosts definitely don't want to leave. She brings in a ghost photographer, a priest, among others, in the film based off the Disney ride. Following in the vein of other such Disney ride films as Pirates of the Caribbean and Jungle Cruise. Here we go. The cast is, of course, fantastic with Tiffany Haddish, Danny DeVito, and Owen Wilson all giving 100%. But the film doesn't really take off until an hour into the movie, when we start to see all the ghosts do their ghost stuff, and the actors really get to let loose. We're gonna fight, whether we like it or not. Or else we're stuck here for eternity. Those same ghosts are also a little too scary at moments for younger moviegoers. Haunted Mansion is not a movie you need to rush to theaters to see. Instead, wait until it's on Disney Plus and stream it, maybe when it's closer to Halloween. I can show you what happened, but it will cost you three dollars. What? Mom. Highway robbery! Who said that? Over on streaming services, new on Apple TV Plus Wednesday is a third season of Physical. Hi, I'm Sheila D. Rubin. Let's move! You are a national television personality now. We're building a place for women to be free of judgment. Rose Byrne returns as the VHS aerobics instructor who finds herself up against a rival. 
Kelly Kilmartin. She beat you to the punch. She's the most famous fitness star. I'm better than you. Streaming on Hulu Wednesdays, a third season of Reservation Dogs. The path to healing is often found in opportunities to help others. What does that mean? You're on trash duty. Maybe next time you'll think twice about running away and not telling anybody. Why am I here? I didn't even go to California. It's called Probably Cause. Ah! The show continues the story of four indigenous friends returning to their homes in Oklahoma. Can you just tell me what to do? You know I can't do that. Besides, you made it. Made it where? Right where you're supposed to be. And new Friday on Netflix is The Big Nailed It Baking Challenge. Oh, Andy! Oh, my. Don't know if you... I can't it's tell if that's oh, a good or my word or a bad. Did you taste it? Hold on. <laughs> no, I <got> it. <laughs> Two professional chefs attempt to teach ten amateur bakers with no skill at all to maybe, just maybe, bake a cake correctly. I don't know what to do. How's it going with these bakers? Oh. Some of them are just going haywire. Looks like some of you are starting to use buttercream on your cakes, and Robert hasn't even demonstrated yet. We're live at four. I'm Will Loper. We finally had good cake. <laughs> Something to celebrate. I watch those shows and I get hungry. Yeah, yeah. So that's a problem. There. It's very relatable to see people who Maybe baking's not their mm -hmm. forte. It makes exactly. me feel good about myself. Well, still to come at four, a couple enjoys a Tom Jones concert. So the problem is that this isn't the man's wife, and he has no idea it isn't. Ginny Mose has that coming up after Gary's <laughs> first foreign forecast. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Improve your home's curb appeal with Pittsburgh Grand Distinction Exterior Paint. It's highly dirt resistant and provides a mildew resistant coating. Pick up a gallon of Grand Distinction Exterior Paint for only $41.79 after rebate. Paramount Exterior Paint and Primer is designed to exceed your performance expectations. It's the most advanced protection you can get in true one coat coverage. A gallon of Paramount Exterior Paint is just $47.96 after 11% rebate. Save big money at the Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. My favorite thing about the Power Swabs is that I was actually able to take the swab and really get through some of those areas that are kind of like untreated. I felt like I, I can immediately see the results and I'm like, oh, I'm definitely starting to see the shades getting brighter and brighter or whiter and whiter. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five-minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the Power Swabs five-minute solution. Well, they're whiter, they're brighter, and I feel better about my smile. And it was so easy to do. One friend was like, did you, your teeth look like really white. Did you, did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did Power Swabs. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 50% off and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. We're here today to set the record straight about Dupuytren's contracture. Surgery is not your only treatment option. People may think their contracture has to be severe to be treated, but it doesn't. Visit findahandspecialist.com today to get started. Need life insurance? Select Quote found Jacob, 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Well, take a look at this. It was a very hot day in Burbank, and this bear found a way to beat the heat by cooling off in a jacuzzi. 
Police say the bear was spotted on a hillside neighborhood before taking a dip in the pool. The homeowner says the bear was in there for about five minutes before climbing up a tree and falling <laughs> asleep. Sounds like the perfect afternoon to us. That bear knows what's going on. Just, yeah. Well, it probably was so hot there that it was cooler inside the jacuzzi. Yeah, <laughs> it's not running, so I don't know how hot the water was, but right at home. Yeah. I do the same. Well, August will feature double a double treat for astronomy fans with the rare two full moons. The first known as the Sturgeon Moon is set to light up the sky tomorrow. Supermoons like these happen when the moon is closest to Earth in its orbit and appear larger and brighter than your average full moon. Dr. James Hedberg is the director of the planetarium at the City College of New York. People away from tall buildings, that's who's <laughs> going to get the best view, even though we have billion dollar instruments staring much deeper out in space, but no one gets tired of the moon. The second full moon of the month, a rare blue moon, will be on display August 30th. And don't go by the stuff you see on social media that the moon is going to be, you know, huge and block out the entire sky. <laughs> <laughs> that's, on, that's on social media? No, really? Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. fill the entire sky. Yeah, you it's see not pictures gonna, like It's not going to no, quite no, be, no, be it's just much. a little larger than normal. And it, it, when it rises, it appears a little larger just because of the refraction of the light. Right, because if, if the moon is close to the horizon, it's going through part of the Earth's atmosphere and kind of it's a little bit like a like a magnifying lens. Well, lens. double feature. Yeah. So, but you need to have clear skies I to see it. You do. And, uh, uh, we'll have uh, at least some clear skies for tonight. Tomorrow might not be quite as nice as far as that's concerned. And we do have some rain chances. I'll have more on that in the forecast in just a couple of minutes. What did you get? A ninety-four. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance? Uh-huh. We can't shush the truth, people. We can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA. Like straight lines that seem wavy, blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces, like this one, or trouble with low light that makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawon'twait.com. It's easy to get lost in investment research. Introducing J.P. Morgan Personal Advisors. Hey, David. Connect with an advisor to create your personalized plan. Let's find the right investments for your goals. Okay, great. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance? Uh-huh. We can't shush the truth, people. We can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
Well, we had a pretty nice weekend after the storms that rolled through here Friday night and brought heavy rain and severe weather to much of southern Wisconsin. But three things you need to know now in the forecast. Looks like it'll stay warm with high temperatures in the middle of upper 80s from Wednesday through Saturday. Tomorrow will probably be in the lower 80s. Uh, we'll also see a little more humidity, especially for the second half of the week. And that will lead to some chances for showers and thunderstorms. Now, mainly a slight chance Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday afternoons, but maybe a little better chance from Friday night into Saturday and another slight slight chance on Sunday before we turn dry again for next week. Uh, Doppler track precipitation over the last five days, this is including Friday night, a big bullseye across Walworth County, across uh, Lafayette County and southern portions of Iowa County. Uh, taking a look at some of the rainfall estimates, uh, over five inches around Lake Geneva, maybe as much as almost seven inches south and east of Darlington down toward the Illinois state line southwest of Monroe. And then another little area of about two to three inches of rain from the heavier thunderstorms that moved from the Dells eastward through uh, parts of Marquette and Green Lake counties over toward uh, Fond du Lac County. But right now, things dry around here. Uh, a couple of showers, southern portions of Iowa, some showers to the north and east over parts of Michigan and into Ontario. But we've been kind of in between weather systems. We have high pressure sitting right over us, and that's going to keep us dry for a while. Now, future track precipitation, the short-term models that uh, takes us through Thursday morning, shows some spotty areas that might pick up an inch to a little bit more than an inch in a heavier shower or thunderstorm in many areas that don't see any rain at all. We'll have to see the newer computer model forecast will be coming out in the next hour to see if this is even as widespread as what this is showing. I think the more widespread rains will favor the northern portions of the state, but you can see out to the west and to the south, very little in the way of rain expected. And the 10-day future track uh, computer model that basically uh, kind of averages everything out shows very little in the way of rain across southern Wisconsin. Many areas probably less than a tenth of an inch of rain. Some areas not seeing anything. Northern portions of the Midwest closer to an inch to an inch and a half of rain, which is what we'd expect over that time period. Maybe some heavier thunderstorms over the uh, parts of Iowa back into Nebraska staying to our south and to our west. Temperatures right now comfortable here. But notice the heat continuing just to our south and west. Temperatures upper 90s to triple digit heat from Kansas through Oklahoma and Texas. There are excessive heat warnings and heat advisories uh, for much of that area from Kansas all the way down to the Gulf Coast and then eastward into the panhandle of Florida. Take a look at these uh, heat indices right now. Feels like 104 in Tulsa, 106 in the Dallas Fort Worth area. That's a factor of the humidity and the uh, temperatures. But that just makes it too hot for thunderstorms to develop. They develop on the northern periphery of that heat, and they're sliding south and east because our upper-level winds are from the northwest. So for the time being, that should keep us dry. Plan your night across Dane County. Look for low of 60 in Oregon, 57 in Marshall, 60 in DeForest with mostly clear skies. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, 61 in Platteville, 57 in Baraboo. Cool 50 in Camp Douglas. They were in the 40s last night. For tomorrow, look for skies to become partly sunny. It'll be warm with a high temperature of 83, but humidity levels shouldn't be too bad. And again, the rainfall chances, and this might even be overdone for uh, Wednesday into Wednesday night. Some areas picking up over an inch in a heavier shower or thunderstorm, and many areas not seeing any rain at all. Our first one, 7 to 10 day forecast. Highs mid to upper 80s through Friday. Slight chances for showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon and evening. If I had to pick a best time for rain, it'll be Friday night into Saturday, but even then probably about a 30 to 40 percent chance. Slight chance on Sunday and then much of next week should be dry with comfortable temperatures. Highs, lower 80s, nighttime low temperatures, upper 50s to around 60. Humidity levels come down, so all in all, I mean, I think that's a good period of weather as we head into the first part of August. So and we're, we're continuing our Beyond the Barometer series, and no severe weather in the forecast, but we had a bout of it on Friday. And what yeah. we want to talk about the, our, our yeah, policy you know, about cutting in. Yeah, you know, we, we often get questions from people, you know, how do you determine when to break into programming? Because obviously, you know, s severe weather happens around here, and we have to really make a, a decision on our end what we're going to do. So let's start out by taking a look at the, our uh, severe weather policy here for the station. If we can go to the graphic there. Uh, we're going to the graph. There we go. Uh, so when, as far as breaking into programming, the first concern is the danger to the public. So that tornado warnings, no brainer, we're on the air. Uh, but even for high end severe thunderstorm warnings, um, the National Weather Service is now putting impact uh, statements into some of the severe weather warnings. So if we're expecting high winds of greater than hurricane force, 75 miles an hour or greater, very similar to what happened in Fort Atkinson. That was probably not a tornado, but just straight line winds. But you saw the damage that we uh, showed earlier in the newscast. So that's the first concern. We have that kind of a danger to a public, we're on the air. Um, 
the storm severity and location. Um, you know, are we looking at you know uh, higher end severe thunderstorm warnings, or uh, maybe uh, you know are we looking at a marginal severe thunderstorm warning in a rural area that you know might not be affecting very many people? Uh, we take that into consideration as to whether or not to, to break into programming. Another thing we look at is can we cover commercials? I mean, we make our money off of commercials, and you know people would love us to just interrupt commercials, and we actually do try to do that, even though it costs us money. At least we can show you. You know the programming as much as possible, but it depends on when the pro when the commercials are. For example, you know during football or during golf, we don't know when those commercial breaks are going to be. They're determined by you know what's going on in the game. So you know football game, you know the, those commercials breaks usually occur when we have a change of possession or something like that. So again, we don't know necessarily know when that's going to be. If we need to break into programming, we might need to do it earlier rather than later. Uh, we also look at the timing of the program. You know, are we at the last part of a cliffhanger, you know, last episode of the season? Can we delay the warning, you know, maybe a minute or so so you can see that? Or, you know, kick, getting ready to kick the game-winning field goal or, the, you know, make the last second putt? Um, you know, those are things that we take into consideration as well. And then also is the information new? You know, a lot of times we have multiple warnings we we keep breaking into programming maybe we just did a warning for for Dane County and for uh, uh, Columbia County and the storms are moving eastward toward Dodge and Jefferson counties and then you know right after we get off the air a new warning comes out for those counties so do we really need to break into programming we've already told you what's going on there we might make a decision not to break into programming there but it really is up to the meteorologist I mean we uh, in the the long run and you know we have the decision when to break into programming and, and, not, and not everybody's gonna agree with it but you know that's and it goes across the board. We can't pinpoint just have our signal go that's, to Columbia yeah, County. That's, that's the other thing, too. People don't often understand. When we break into programming, we have to break into programming for everyone. Technologically, there's not a way to break into programming just for the people that are in the warning area and keep the program going for everybody else. That's the unfortunate part. Now, the next generation of television might be able to do that if they make use of all the technology, but that's still going to be years down the road. We won't be around to see that. Well, it's, it, it's basically, <laughs> At least I won't. basically, well, it, 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 I mean, there are parts of the country where they're already doing it. Whether or not they're doing it for severe weather is another thing, but basically it, it marries internet and over the air TV so that um, we could deliver you know part of the severe weather information via the internet and keep the program going for everybody else but again that that has not come to Madison yet and it still may be years off but uh, you know those are are all valid concerns and people ask and they they want to know and you know we, we want to be upfront with them um, but you know like I say it's a, it's a difficult decision we look at a lot of different factors and you know safety first we're, we're safety first yep. but uh, you know we also realize that you know there are people that are not being affected by the storm that are miles away that are losing their programming as well so um, can't be selfish right all right Gary thank you you're welcome coming up next year on live before a man enjoying the music began caressing the arm of a woman he mistook for his wife that's nothing to do with this video <laughs> well at five you can hardly walk down a couple of streets in Fort Atkinson without seeing the storm damage Catherine Merck reports on the cleanup Stoughton Health has three convenient urgent care locations for the care you need without the wait. We have clinics in Oregon, Stoughton, and McFarland with extended hours to fit your schedule. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. Are you sure about this? I got this. I watched a video online. Oh. <coughs> I'm good! I'm good! I can't help you with that bruised ego, but I can help you replace this roof safely. Let the experts at Feldco do the heavy lifting this summer with 30% off roofing and siding. Plus, no money down and no interest until 2025. 20% off Feldco roofing and siding ends Monday. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new Beautyrest mattress from Steinhoffels. Right now, Beautyrest Queen mattresses start at just $2.99. Or upgrade to the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest Black. Queen Beautyrest Black mattresses start at just $49 per month when you use Steinhoffels special 72-month financing. Plus, you get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Steinhoffels is your sleep solution destination. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Entresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. 
Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or alaskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. In a class three casino, you're playing against the house, so there's no guarantee a player has to win ever. And in a class two casino, the players play against each other and not the house. So someone always wins. So you're saying... He's saying if you want to win at something, you have to go to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, a class two casino where someone has to win. How about this then? Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Stoughton Health has three convenient urgent care locations for the care you need without the wait. We have clinics in Oregon, Stoughton, and McFarland with extended hours to fit your schedule. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. New at 5, a popular Wisconsin summer destination may not have been up to normal trends. We find out how adverse weather conditions have impacted tourism in Wisconsin Dells. Temperatures will be warm and the humidity will begin to climb over the next few days. This will lead to chances for showers and thunderstorms, although most of the time it won't be raining. At 5, I'll let you know when the best chances for rain will be. And ahead at 6, after being investigated for child sexual assault, News 3 now investigates why a Madison pastor is still allowed around children. That's tonight at 6. Given the weather satellite spin, we end up in Miami. A little threatening there. Hmm. 80, 87? 87. That's yeah. cool. I don't know. It's been in the year 100 there. Oh, the Golden Girls would have loved that. <laughs> they were further north, weren't they? They were in Miami. Or they? Yeah. Okay. A funny moment captured on camera at a concert in the UK has gone viral. A man enjoying the music began caressing the arm of a woman he mistook for his wife. Well, hilarity ensued, and more than 50 million people have now watched the video. Jeannie Moe's reports. It happened at a Tom Jones concert in Wales, a family event. But when Claire Davies' nieces noticed a strange man was caressing their auntie from behind, well, of course, they recorded it. Their auntie's expressions echoed that famous Tom Jones refrain. My auntie is such a character, so when this happened, it was just so funny. Everything about his body language screamed, she's mine, and what made it even funnier? Sex bomb. Sex bomb. Was the song Tom Jones was singing. Sex bomb, sex bomb. Despite the faces she was making. You never turned around and said, hey, buddy, wrong lady, wrong wife. No, I didn't. We were all laughing, so it, it was nothing offensive about it, so I, we just... We just went with the flow. Went with the flow till the moment he realized, uh-oh, I'm stroking a stranger. Can you give it to me? <laughs> and pointed at his real wife, Joan, who had the same hair color and denim jacket, practically twins. The caresser, John Jones, wrote on his Facebook page, turns out I had the wrong wife. Sir Tom, you are a bad influence. He jokingly said, Oh, I almost kissed you as well. That would have been worse. John's wife posted, I was so engrossed with Tom, I didn't even notice my husband cuddling another woman. Using the Welsh term for cuddling, John apologized to Aunt Claire, but online commenters were touched by his touch. It seemed like a very loving touch. I think so, yeah. I think he seemed a really lovely, genuine man, yeah. A sex bomb. The only thing this sex bomb exploded in was laughter. <laughs> Ginny Mose, CNN. Sex bomb, sex bomb. New York. What a time. I, they looked identical from the yeah. back. Well, and that can happen. Like yesterday, I saw someone who I thought was my friend, and I did the, oh, mm. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't <laughs> my friend. No. All right, when we come back, we'll meet our pet of the week from the Dane County Humane Society. We will meet Toad, a kitten in search of oh, a forever tear. home. Hello. I think Toad will find a home. <laughs> That's when Live at Four continues.
summer fun on your agenda. If not, it should be, because we are at Wisconsin RV World today with Miss Christine Egan, the lady who knows everything about these beautiful units behind us. 78 years in business, four generation family run business. I know you love this opportunity to help people have fun in the summer. So what are some options of these, these great things? You can get anything from a single axle to a bunkhouse to a couple's unit to toy hauler, travel trailers, and fifth wheel. The sky's the limit. I, I love it so much. You have all of the models on the floor right here. What about solar? People are always wondering about, are, are these units solar ready? You can get it with either solar ready or solar on board. Okay. Um, solar on board means that you actually have the solar panels on the roof and ready to go. Will you, can I get in one of these? Because yeah. I, I love them so much. Someday I'm going to have one. Will you show me one? Yeah, we'll get outside and look. Christine, every time I'm here, I'm amazed at your selection. This is one you might really like. Let's go see it. hero of your family and make it a fun summer here at Wisconsin RV World. I'm Emmy Fink and, and you're buzzed, buzzed into, into Madison. Madison. And we just need a deck of cards and a cold beverage. Get over here. Postmenopausal women with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer are living longer with Kiskali. So long live family time. Long live dreams and long live you. Cascali is a pill proven to help women live longer when taken with an aromatase inhibitor. And Cascali helps preserve quality of life. So you're not just living, you're living well. Cascali can cause lung problems or an abnormal heartbeat, which can lead to death. It can cause serious skin reactions, liver problems, and low white blood cell counts that may result in severe infections. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including breathing problems, cough, chest pain, a change in your heartbeat, dizziness, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, tiredness, loss of appetite, abdomen pain, bleeding, bruising, fever, chills, or other symptoms of an infection, a severe or worsening rash, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding. Long live hugs and kisses. Ask about Kiskali and long live life. In your first warrant, traffic on the Beltline. Looks like we have some slowdowns eastbound uh, from Stoughton Road to the interstate. That's right as the uh, uh, flux lanes start to wind down. Also some slowdowns eastbound right around Monona Drive. A few slowdowns on East Washington Avenue heading out of downtown toward the interstate as well. South and east of Madison, I-3990, no problems there, as well as I-94 eastward toward Milwaukee. North of Madison, not seeing any issues either on US-151 through Dodge County. Uh, I-39 up into central Wisconsin, to I-90, 94 through the Dells and out into uh, parts of western Wisconsin. That's your news through now for sworn traffic. All right, Gary, thank you. From our stupid crooks department to watch this alleged bank robbery suspect get caught seemingly red-handed by falling out of the ceiling right into the hands of the police. Officers responded to an alarm at the Ohio Bank and noticed <laughs> the recycled bucket oddly placed in the ATM lane. Shortly thereafter, the suspect dropped in and the cops moved in and made a curbside pickup, so to speak. Didn't really think that one through, eh? <laughs> it's time to introduce you to our pet of the week. Lisa Bernard from the Dane County Main Society is here. Hello. And who's our friend here? This is Toad. Toad. Toad's Toad. a cutie. He is adorable. He's almost, he's about two months. Uh, brought to us from Sun Prairie. He was amongst other kittens that were found on a farm. So um, very sweet, very affectionate. He and I were playing up a storm on the yeah. sofas out there with his little mouse. And Where's your mouse? And uh, he was rolling oh. over and just playing. He's right on my me. microphone. <laughs> right here. <laughs> and he's got a little eye, something with his eye. So when he, he came to us, uh, they diagnosed him with an upper respiratory infection, and that could have caused a little bit here. of uh, fogginess in his eye or it could be an ulcer mm. a corneal ulcer whatever it is it's not bothering him we don't expect it to in the future so, so two, find your camera two months old two months old super playful super cute 
got a little spunk, a little shy at times, yeah. but you know, he's getting used to the world. There's so much to see. So, but he purrs when he's happy and he's not purring on me. Um, he and Hi. I, like I said, he was just rolling around and letting me rub his belly. Well, he just wanted to get to you, is the issue here. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I have, I have that magnetism. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's a shot of him. Oh, look at you, baby. Aren't you a sweetie? Yeah. Uh, uh, how big did you say that he'll get? Uh, he'd probably be around average size. Yeah, he looks so. like an average size cat. Yeah. yeah, so maybe around like 12 pounds or so. Do you have a lot of kittens right now? We have a number that are coming in, and we have some adult cats. Actually, we have quite a few senior cats, too. So there's a big variety from little kittens to... You know, yeah. teenage like cats and then the seniors. People can so. find what's right for them. Then. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think he's going to fall asleep. That one? We so have bad. that effect on people sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what event do you have going on here? So, we have Bark and Wine oh, coming up on September 30th. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just started taking reservations, so you can go online. And it's a special little event because cats like Toad are taking over from the dogs. And so it's Bark and Wine, the cat's meow. Mm, okay. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, meow and wine doesn't go together too well. <laughs> well, hopefully they won't knock your wine glasses off, but... Um, so, uh... So it's going to be at the Humane Society? At the Humane Society, and we're going to have some delicious treats uh, catered by uh, Chef Villarreal from Migrants. Cool. And then uh, dessert from Calliope Ice Cream. And, um... We're also obviously going to have different animals to snuggle, like kittens to play with, and we'll even, shh, we're bringing in some puppies to snuggle. Oh. To, don't tell, don't Toad? tell them. Did, Didn't hear it. Happened. Didn't hear Don't tell and your friends. This event often sells out. Yes, we, we do get close to capacity, so you really need to get your tickets get now. Get your tickets now, yes. All right, last week? Henry Cavill. The rabbit. The rabbit. Uh, <laughs> Which wouldn't come out of the case. Well, this is a, but he got adopted. Yeah, really, here he is. There he, he is. So what, what a nice snack. That's a, an interesting looking rabbit. He was so soft and velvety. Yeah. He felt so beautiful. Beautiful rabbit. He's been adopted, but okay. we have other rabbits too. So come out and visit us. Come and see what's going on. And if you're interested in adopting Toad or all the other critters available, go to giveshelter.org. And also you can get your tickets for the Bark and Wine and the Cat's Meow. Is that what it is? Bark and Wine, the Cat's Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Toad looks very comfortable Good right luck. Now. Boy, you're a lot happier there than uh, with me. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back with a final check of your forecast. Parker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Parker Heating and Cooling. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther. Tow more. And bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on select popular Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Plus, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Champion Windows is celebrating our 70th anniversary with our best sale of the year. Right now, buy two Comfort 365 windows and get two free. Don't sweat over high energy bills. Buy two, get two free. Call or schedule your free estimate online at GetChampionWindows.com. Your heart is the beat of life. If you have heart failure, entrust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or alaskirin or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor if Entresto is right for you. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. From drought to smoke, scorching heat and dangerous thunderstorms has this wild weather impacted vacation choices. Tonight, find out how adverse conditions are affecting tourism in the water park capital of the world on News 3 Now at 5. 
A Madison Not pastor really. keeps preaching after the state shuts his daycare down because he's being investigated for child sexual assault. Naomi Coles is asking, why is he still around children? News 3 Now investigates tonight at 6. Here's a live view of the WIC TV sky cam. Lots of sunshine out there. Temperatures very comfortable. Upper 70s to lower 80s. Madison right now 81, 82 in Janesville, and 83 in La Crosse. All right, Gary, thank you. Tomorrow here on Live at 4, UW Health Chief Quality Control Officer Dr. Jeff Potoff has all the latest medical news. And Consumer Reports steers us through the ins and outs of roadside automotive assistance coverage. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find bicycle store quality electric e-bikes from Trek, Electra, Felt, Giant, and more. Trek offers the best-selling e-bike in America, Trek Verve Plus, under $2,500. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find fat e-bikes, mountain e-bikes, road e-bikes, bike path e-bikes, and more. Free services included. The place to shop for your new e-bike is Machinery Row Bicycles, the most beautiful bicycle store in the world. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. Call today for free information. Call 800-550-5543. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. In today's final touch, we're not Mickey mousing around. Actually, we are. <laughs> a giant mouse maze is delighting children and adults alike in southern Germany, where a local farm has created a bit of magic out of their sunflower fields. Stretching across the space of four football fields, the Uding Maze is, pays homage to all things Disney, which is celebrating its 100th anniversary. Uli Ernst is no novice. This is his 25th maze, and he and his farm have been creating these field artworks since 1999. This year's extravaganza is in the shape of Disney's Mickey and Minnie. It's made from 360,000 plants. The maze is over two miles long. Children are especially delighted with their stamp pads where they run around through Minnie's bow and or Mickey's ears collecting stamps as they go. Oh, that sounds like fun. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, that's our time for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here again tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.